new at five, a $25,000 reward is now being offered for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person who killed a University of Alabama librarian. 73 year old Kate Ragsdale was murdered inside her Tuscaloosa home back in 2013. Tonight, CBS 42 News reporter Tim Reed in our Tuscaloosa newsroom with why neighbors think this reward could help investigators finally close this cold case. Kate Ragsdale was found murdered here in her house February 2013. Since that time, her killer has never been caught. Many folks who live in this neighborhood tell me they're hoping the new reward money will help bring her killer to justice. She was a great lady. Always walked her little dog through the neighborhood a couple of times a day and very well respected in the, in the community. Philip Weaver is the president of the Neighborhood Association in the Highlands subdivision. He knew 73 year old Kate Ragsdale and wants closure for her family and the person responsible for her murder to be punished. We are, we're committed to getting behind law enforcement and working with law enforcement to try, to try to generate any kind of tips we can to solve this case. The University of Alabama librarian's body was discovered by one of her neighbors at her house in February 2013. Police have worked a number of leads but have never been able to identify her killer. We continuously work on this case. We are re-examining evidence in this case. There have been new processes and techniques for, for processing evidence and discovering DNA. A new reward of $20,000 has been offered, hoping to lead to an arrest and conviction of the killer. The total amount now stands at $25,000. Five years ago, the governor posted a reward of $5,000. If somebody knows the person that did it, they would make a phone call or whatever so that uh, our neighborhood could get some closure. Anyone with information is asked to call Tuscaloosa Crime Stoppers at 752-7867. In Tuscaloosa, Tim Reed, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.